Welcome back to my channel. In today's DIY, I'm going to make a really tall Valentine's Day candle holder. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous. This was originally from Dollar Tree, but I found it at a thrift store. So I picked up two. And now I have a table runner. I purchased this from Hobby Lobby. It's just called Valentine's Centerpiece. And there's the skew. Okay, so what I want to do, because I have two of these bases, I'm going to cut this right in half. Okay, so now I have half. Now what I'll do is see exactly where I need to place it so that I can get an even distribution all the way around. I'm going to pull it tight. Perfect. Okay, so I can cut it here. I didn't think I'd be able to do this on the tall ones. I do have some of the shorter hurricanes, so this is going to be nice. Might be able to use it on something else. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I have an old rag here. I'm going to put some alcohol on it. I also have some masking tape. And I have this adhesive spray that I picked up from Dollar Tree. And I've used this before in another DIY. Now, earlier I tried to spray it, but I think it stopped up. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is just open this up and dip my brush into it. I'm going to dip my brush into it and just brush it on to my mat. Okay, so I'll just finish and then come back. Okay guys, I'm done brushing on the adhesive. So now I'm just going to let's start from this side. Lay this on and press it down. I'm going to use some masking tape to help hold it in place. Go ahead and pull this. Let's move it up this way. Away from the glue. Okay, I'm just going to overlap it and then tape it. Go ahead and have some pieces of the tape torn ahead of time. All you have to do is take the tape and put it on here. Then just go around it. with more of the tape. You want it to be pressed up against the glass so that it will stick. Any places where you see it might need a little bit of help. So now I'm gonna take my scissors and trim off the excess from the top and the bottom. Okay, just like that. Now I'm gonna put some red tape across the top and the bottom, and then I'm gonna let that sit. And now you have your very own mummy. <laughs> okay guys, so I'm gonna put this aside and let this dry. And I'm going to add a base to this candle holder. So I'm gonna grab that and then come back and move on. Okay guys, I'm back and this is what I'll be using for my base. Now this time around, instead of a milkshake glass, we're gonna use a Sunday glass. And again, I found this at Goodwill as well. So yeah, check out your local thrift store, Goodwill, whatever. You guys are gonna be amazed at what you can find. I think it's gonna be gorgeous as a base. So what I wanna do is add some of my red leaf, my red gold leaf, whatever you wanna call it. I'm just gonna call it my red leaf. Unfortunately, I still haven't found my gold leaf. 
adhesive. So I'm going to use my stencil adhesive. It works just as well. So guys, if you can't find a gold leaf adhesive locally, get some stencil adhesive. If you're wondering about the pink paper, I found it at Dollar Tree as well. I knew I'd be working with a lot of glue today and I just did not want to deal with having to clean it up off my desk surface. So yeah, I'm just going to brush that on there. So what you want to do is smooth the glue completely out. You don't want any rough spots. You don't want it caked up anywhere. Get it as smooth as you possibly can, okay? So now that I'm done doing that, I'm going to let this sit for like five minutes. Then I'll come back and add my red leaf. Okay guys, I'm back and my glass is ready for the red leaf. So let's just pull some out. It's so pretty. Look at that. Oh my God. Oh, I wish I would have had this around Christmas time. Okay. So I have this brush again. I'm going to designate this brush. It looks kind of crazy like uh, like the brush had a crazy late night. <laughs> and this is the morning after, but it still works, okay? So this brush is going to be designated for my red leaf. So let's get started. I'm just going to place this on here and brush it on. Okay guys, I'm back and this is what my base looks like. Isn't that cute? So let's just go ahead and take some alcohol and clean the bottom of this base and the top of this. We're going to use some Gorilla Glue of course. I'm going to put it right here, right along this edge. I really like the way that looks as a base. That's really cute. Okay guys, so I'm going to let this sit for about six hours. Then I'll come back and remove the tape. Right here where the two pieces meet will be the back. So just line it up and cut off the excess. Okay, so now, naturally this is still sticking up. And you can brush some more adhesive on there or you can use some fix-all. So I'm just gonna use some fix-all and put it on here. When you're doing this, don't pull it too hard because you don't wanna pull the parts that's already sticking to the glass away from the glass. It will come off if you pull too hard. So put some tape over it. Let this dry for an hour and then I'll come back and finish decorating our candle holder. But yeah, I really love how that looks. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, see you guys in a minute. Okay guys, I'm back. And as you can see, I removed the tape from the back and that's the seam. Um, let me just show you this really quick. If you have glue on your glass, you can take a piece of masking tape you just press it on there and just rub it and it'll pull it right off the glass if you have it in some places. So you can just do this to clean it up, okay, if you need to. Now, the next thing I want to do is trim the top and the bottom to give it a more finished look. So I'm just going to take some of this bling and wrap it around just to measure. And I found this at Amazon and I'll link it below in the description. And it comes in several different colors. So if I did this, I think that's a little bit too thick for my taste. So I'm going to cut it in half. So now I'll take my glue gun, go in the back. I'm going to put some glue on the little rectangle part. I trimmed the top, but it was out of view. I needed to adjust the camera and didn't realize it. So I'll do this again, but this time I'll do it at the bottom. This is the back. And then I'm just gonna take some hot glue and put it here right on the little rectangle and press it right at that line. So 
So now I add some more hot glue to those other rectangles. And proceed to go around, making sure that it's lined up properly. We have it trimmed at the top and the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is put this on display with the other one and let you guys see what they look like. 